Y'all in the opening set, he was serving 6 5 40 love, couldn't close it out, and then lost in a tie break. He had six set points. Once he gets going, he relaxes. Sometimes the start and the end of the matches can get a little tricky for him. First ace. He wants nope. his challenge. It's called out. Oh, service line. Well, he's so close to Sampras already. You know, he's got to be feeling some level of pressure to pull that off. Challenge and, and the chase review. A couple of matches where he's actually looked. It's an ace. Human for a while. But you don't keep the. No, I think Federer challenged that. It was called out, was. wasn't it? Yeah. He keeps his challenge. Oh. So they both have two. Pretty nice. There's Sharapova watching on. He does a great imitation of her, by the way, among many others. But Djokovic grew up wanting to be able to play like Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi. Usually, you know, a young kid. Youngster. He's beaten Nadal a couple times on hard courts. Is thanked to Pingle and the Packers of Lombardi and Wooden's UCLA Bruins. Can anyone beat him? The crowd is really starting to take him to him. They just realize. And further advance than Federer in capturing that grand slam and be second only to Pete Sampras as the youngest. They're on serve. No break points. CBS Sports coverage of U.S. Up and pounds a hole in the baseline with his dribble. But only six again here. And tosses in his first ace. His title and then goes out and hits with Federer. That's exactly right. <laughs> Lithuanian. Just erupting talent from around the world. What a hard worker he is. How humble he is. And now he's his buddy. That's beautiful. Levine was in the main draw as a wild card. The oh, American. So it's taking him to a pretty good place. And with the ace. It's for all. This Estoril and Montreal. And the ace for Federer. Again, the server cruising through his game. We're at 5 4. Make that five, five points in this. Game. Nevertheless. Federer. That's where he, to me, has a decided edge. He's more comfortable in net. He's more, he's better at positioning himself 30, to make 15. easy volleys like this. Sure, we're still with the little to learn in that regard. That's the shot that Djokovic refers to as his secret weapon. Can right up the line, forces Federer to reach for it. He put more on it than Roger thought he could and opens the court up. If you want to keep that a secret, you probably shouldn't have hit it on national television so well against Roger Federer. Third, another break point for a 6 5 lead. That 
comes out. Belt. Averaging on less than 15 errors a match. You can see how much pop Djokovic has on his. It's a good solid play. They're not going for the outright winner, setting himself up for that overhead. Two points from the set. Ace number triple set point. <laughs> Caught the line. On set point, Federer feathers one right on the sideline. Djokovic's ball just sat in the middle of the court, but he just barely caught. Likes to go. Mom and dad uh, <laughs> understandably uh, full of emotion and concern. That's oh, it. What a shot to happen Too early, early in the tiebreak. You see, Federer does that often against Roddick, too, where he just blocks the ball back. Djokovic has got more variety in that forehand. Piece of the piece of the frame is on the court. Three, three, three. It appears and it's really made it tricky for these two players. And the double fall gives the number one player in the world, Roger Federer. The mood of young Djokovic. He holds at 40 15. First game, second set. Well, he can punish you with that shot, especially if there's not a whole lot on it. No. Mary Jo Fernandez, what do you have for us? Federer serving under 60% for serves. Oh, that was beautifully placed. 40, 30. He had hit a pretty awkward backhand passing shot, just the previous one, but this one didn't have a lot on it, which allowed him to really line it up. Tempo now here in the second. 1-0. Federer may have a better forehand, but this guy's not far behind. To the court. How about Roddick's forehand? It's big, but I don't think it's as big as this guy's. Right on cue. 30 left. 
Well, Andy Roddick has this one. He has one where he's got time and he can penetrate as well and flatten it out. Djokovic has got the advantage that he moves so well. He can set himself up to give himself a lot 30, more forehands in a rally. That was barely put anything on it at all, Roger. And it's, it seems like a split second's got. His first serve percentage under 50. What a weapon it is. Bissette. Crowd trying to wrap. Piers have shrugged it off that disaster in the first set. And lost the five set points. And he's hitting the ball quite clean at the moment. Especially on that forehand. This is where Federer's got so many options. Change it's gears, you know, take the play to Djokovic. That's some great defense from Novak Djokovic. And there is the break. He's rewarded with that good play. You know, Federer has been saying he's his buddy Oscar De Laurentiis show when this championship is over. Dinner with those, but learn to enjoy fashion. I like to dress up. It's hard to make this. Like this from Federer. He's dropped four games. This guy has a chance to run away with this set. I mean, joking, it's not Federer. This one was good. And that opened up the court for him. And the crowd would, came out, you know, really getting. James gets the job done. His fourth. Gives us a chance. Second set on serve, and will return. Nine straight points by Federer. The players feel like they can control the ball more, but you do have to commit to taking a big swing. And today he wins another PGA Tour event in Illinois. Of course, the natural comparisons continue between these two. 14. 40. Easy game so far for Federer. I see a commiserating between the two. It's usually uh, what's going on. There's a clever backhand. Totally unexpected there. 15 months. Surprise, Federer. Thought he was going to pull it cross court. That's a tough angle to find. Let's see what Roger comes up with here. Six. His Federer was actually there, believe it or not. It wasn't an outright winner, but it certainly was bad luck. And here come 
Jim Spreader. He this crowd is really pulling for the young Serb to level this championship and set all. And that ought to give him some confidence that he could hit the very, very well. This backhand and this this is deja vu. Face the fact he's going to sit down in a minute, Dick, and he should have been up two sets to love, and he's going to be Six down two, two sets to love now. And that is going to be awfully tough to handle for Djokovic. Four points for Federer. Oh, yeah. 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 Roger Federer with a fist pump. He leads by two. And the other team, the other player, comes up with the big shot, and Federer's done just that. This guy has proven to, as we speak. The winner off that backhand wing of Federer. Second set. He's going to get his head here early in the third. Holds it yeah, yeah. Federer. If you, and now the pursuit of this game might improve. Djokovic makes no secret of the fact that from the time he was young, he's wanted to be one in the world. This isn't a guy who's, you know, just looking to make a, a nice living off of this game. It takes guts to even say that out loud. It's good. It takes hard work for him to have gotten so good so young. Mm. Legs. Before he really needs them as the matches get tougher. Eighth ace. A couple of bounces and let's play. And see, he's so relaxed now that the rhythm is just coursing through his. Falling behind in both of the first two sets, but just playing out the finish so. Magnificently, and there's a great backhand from Djokovic. And he's a little bit out of position, Fetter. Didn't hit it as clean as he would have liked, which allowed Djokovic to find. The opportunities have been there, obviously. One. Found a way to deny, deny, deny. Ah. Right, he's for him when he hits this drop shot. He's got to mix it up a little bit more. He's been losing most of these 30. That's clearly a better idea. On Federer's serve and not breaking. And then those first two missed drop shots. These two guys. Oh, how about the Federer's the ball back and the return was excellent. And Djokovic, a huge back end. That's the that's an excellent attempt there. Djokovic. That's not usually a bottom line we've got. And set points wrong, but it's everything in this match. That is the bottom line. Oh. Ironically, Federer did particularly well. Djokovic overland. He comes in here expecting Roger hit a great low passing shot. And it was a slight miss hit. He ended up working for Federer, who's now got a break point. This is all but. <laughs> that was some feel up there on Ned with what was at stake there. 
It's just so tough to ace this guy. Get the ball by him. It makes you work for it. The first two points trying some drop shots and he's should be keep keep on doing this. this is so much better when he attacks the ball and how many titles Federer would hold. The only non grass event of course was the French Open. Federer guessed right and then he executed. And it's one thing to guess right, it's another thing to pull this shot off. on the West Coast, where it'll be seen that it's regularly scheduled time. Yeah, yeah, Federer. Roger Federer breezes through another love game. Uh, Tie break at the open. Uh, Belgium won easily last night over Svetlana Kuznetsova. And Federer. Yeah. Inside out, holds it low, 4-5, third set, Brian's. Shot here was excellent. 15 all. So he caught this ball, really pushed it cross court, and this is not an easy shot at the end of a long point. He's got a lot of upper body strength physically to get himself. Previous record was seven. Jack Crawford, an Australian in the 1930s. Look at that return. That was like the one we saw with Roddick a couple of matches ago. That was 128. It seemed like the return came back just as fast. He hadn't even gotten close, Djokovic. The Fastest serve of the match from Djokovic, and he can't bring the point. Comes back there, slides one outside for his fifth ace. Pythagorean. You talk about a guy that can do it all. Look at this angle from Djokovic. And he tops it, Federer. Yes. He's going to go down. He wants to go down swinging. And he makes you earn it, Federer. History. He knows he has survived a tough fight from a 20 year old sir. All right, Novak Djokovic, ladies and gentlemen, this 20 year old from Serbia. What a two weeks of tennis. Congratulations. You're on your way to great things and major titles. We're going to call in Arlen Cantarian to present the runner-up trophy.
to Novak Djokovic, the runner-up Trey. And we'll look forward to seeing Novak Djokovic again next year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he may be the greatest player to ever pick up a racket. And we've had the joy of watching him in action again tonight. The champion again four times, Roger Federer. Now on behalf of the USTA, Jane Brown Grimes will present the U.S. Open Champions Trophy to the 2007 United States U.S. star, Roger Federer. And there he is, four times the champion of the United States. Once again, Roger Federer is the 2007 U.S. Open men's champion, and tonight on CBS, it's 60 minutes, followed by Big Brother, Cold Case, and then Shark for our NCAA.